Okay, I would like to share with you my presentation for teaching facts of learning at the University of Southern Denmark, which were held on November 1st, 2016. My presentation is about videos with interactive elements for teaching first year mathematics. So, let's see. During the past four years, I have been teaching first year mathematics and physics, and as part of that teaching, I have recorded, uh, recorded a number of videos, uh, mainly inspired by the Khan Academy style, where you have a, a black canvas, and then you draw on top of that with a colored pen. These are screencasts, so these are just recordings of the screen or part of my screen. When I do the recording, I don't do any editing after uh, recording, but I just upload them to, to YouTube. Uh, or retake it if the, the video is not in, in a good enough uh, condition. That enables me to create a large amount of uh, videos for a relatively low cost, uh, if you take into account how much time I spend on, on making them. At the moment I have uh, roughly 200 videos on, on YouTube related to, to math and physics. So. As part of my teaching, I have been using four different types of uh, videos. First, I try to, to use some introductory uh, videos to some part of, uh, of the new theory that should uh, be described in the class. I have also experimented using videos for demonstrating how to use a computer program like Mathematica or MATLAB or yeah, other programs that, that the students should uh, no, in as part of my course, uh, these two uh, work uh, okay, but uh, but the two uh, types of video here related to uh, old exam exercises where I show how I would solve them have been quite popular among the students, and at the moment I focus mostly on worked examples. Uh, and making videos of, of that. And in relation to improving, or in relation to, to these worked examples, I have also tried to, to make a twist of, of these videos by adding some interactive elements into videos use, uh, of these uh, worked examples. A kind of uh, way for, for letting the students do the calculations alongside with me uh, in the video. But let's first look at when, when the video is used as part of the teaching. I suggest the students to watch one or more videos prior to a lecture, in addition to reading in their textbook. So this is where the students will see the video in the first time. If they want to see it later, they of course have the, the possibility of doing that. And then when I do uh, a worked example using these interactive elements, the video is running and then I pose a question. In this case, I have a video about first order linear differential equations, that is differential equations of, of this type. And one crucial step for the students to be able to master before they can solve this type of, of differential equations is to recognize that it's in this case, or it has this form, where you have some p of x times y and some q of x. And if you fill the right things into these two places for p of x and q of x, you get the differential equation you need to solve. So at this point, the video pauses, and at the location indicated here with uh, squares, two text boxes appear where the students can write what they think should be the value of p of x and q of x. This is what is shown to them here. Then they can enter their uh, answer and the system will then uh, grade them according uh, to correctness or not. If what was filled into the box is correct, the, the box is uh, shaded uh, with a green color, otherwise the background changes to, to red. So 
here the students are, are getting feedback on you got this right or you got this wrong then the students can try again if they want to do that they also have the option of, of clicking on the uh, play button here then the boxes disappear and I will give a description of how I would solve the problem and this continues throughout the, the video in this case the videos are approximately 11 minutes long and the video is paused at four or five uh, locations each time it uh, poses a, a new question so some of the other questions in the video is that calculate the integral of of p of x this is one of the steps and there are some simplifications and uh, doing it this way I think that the students um, learn more from from watching such a video than just watching a video passively um, in this way I kind of making a, an interactive uh, scaffold for the students whether they should follow along and do some of the calculations uh, one by one but I'm describing in which order they should do uh, what to get the right answer so why do I think this is better for the students well if we look at Bloom's taxonomy uh, with the different uh, learning levels or yeah what you call that uh, a normal video where you just watch something and maybe try to to think about some of the content will get you to the lowest two layers of uh, Bloom's taxonomy but if you the video is paused in this way and you need to use some of what you have just learned then I think it raises to the apply level in according to Bloom's taxonomy where you should use the information you have in a new situation so I think the, the students are pushed a bit more uh, when they watch these videos but also think they learn a bit more so uh, this is what I try to to do with these inter, uh, videos with interactive elements some of the things I have uh, heard from the, the students or got some, some feedback from them is that if they watch such a video with a worked example prior to reading the textbook it makes it easier for them to understand what is in the textbook and it, it's also a good um, mix between the textbook and the videos as some of the students tend to think that the textbook can be boring to read okay some technical details uh, the platform is uh, hosted on tech video SDUDK and if the students come from the University of South and Denmark it is possible to use the, the single sign-on from uh, the, the university so the students don't need to create a new user uh, account to, to be able to use the site and when the students are logged in it generate some viewing statistics on all the videos including which answers were right and wrong and what the right and wrong answers look like so I can get an impression on how the students are, are coping with the material if you want to try it yourself try to go to this address here tech video as dk slash t slash henrik midiby slash demo where there is a demonstration course containing uh, a sample video uh, with these uh, interactive elements but also two videos on how to record videos and add questions to them on this side so there you can get the experience that the students will, will have using the site if you want to try it yourself then uh, please let me know send me an email or, or something like that and then uh, we can uh, create a user uh, that is able to to upload videos to the site or add videos to the site and, and questions and so on if you want to experiment with the code or try to deploy it on, on your own server it's also an option 
the code is uh, released under an open source license and is available on the two addresses uh, below. So, at the conference there were now some time for discussion, which would which I started by asking this question, how can we increase the learning outcome for the students based on, on these elements? Can we do something with the videos? And two uh, questions were raised in the discussion. First, um, one was that had I tried to quantify the learning outcome and seen an increase using this method? Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to do that. It's the first year I teach this group of uh, students, so I have nothing to compare with. So it's difficult to, to see if it's better than before bef because I have nothing to compare with. There was also a concern about these videos, if they would uh, make some of the students skip the reading in the textbook. And according to a questionnaire we have just posed to the student, some of the students actually skipped reading in the textbook and only watched the videos. But that might not be that bad because these students might not have read in the textbook at all, independent of whether there were videos available or not. So if they're doing more than they would have done before, then it's better. If they're doing less than they would have done without the videos, it is not so good. But it's very hard to to figure out exactly how to, to handle these cases. So these were some of the things that were raised in the discussion. And yeah, I hope you uh, got a bit uh, inspired by this video. And if you have any questions, please contact me through email or phone or, or whatever. Thank you.